I just really stuck to my race plan. I was happy that it was a non wetsuit swim because the water was really warm. Head on down, number 40 is out of the water. Uh, so I felt good coming out of the water because if it had been wetsuit, I would have been massively overheated. So that was a good call. I'm glad that they were really honest with that because I know the age groupers would rather wear wetsuits, but uh, I think it was the safe call. So that was good. Um, wasn't my best swim actually, but uh, I, I felt like I could have a solid day from there and uh, just really stuck to sort of the watts I needed to hold on the bike, tried not to do anything stupid and uh, just stuck to my plan and got out on the run and managed to just keep it ticking over and go away with the win. Uh, people sort of say like, oh, do you ever feel like, oh, you have this in the bag? And honestly, like the last two miles is when I kind of go, okay. I'm, you know, even if it's sort of obvious, like by the by the gap that I have at the far turnaround, you just never know what can happen, you know? Debilitating cramp or something. So I just never feel like, oh, it's mine until, you know, I'm kind of almost in the finish shoot, so. I feel like the best is definitely yet to come for me. Um, I feel like I've just been getting fitter. You know, it's been a good sort of slow progression building up. Um, I feel confident in my coach's program. I feel confident in my ability. So I just go into races feeling like, hey, you know, if I have a day and, and make the right decisions out on course, I can win it. So that's a great feeling and it just kind of builds on itself, you know, and so you just feel like you can perform more and more consistently and that's a and that's a great feeling I you know there's a lot of things that can happen injury wise and whatever so you sort of just count your blessings and hope you can keep rolling with it when I see Heather Wirtel racing I see a woman who's just racing her race and not necessarily the other athletes yeah you know that's that's really what I do I mean um, you know I've been fortunate enough that it hasn't come down to you know like battling it out for the last few miles so I really do just focus on doing my own race I know I sort of know if I stick to my plan I, I, I can have a good day and and, and uh, that's just really what I do so, yeah. do you have your nutrition just down perfect because st. George you you finish strong here you, you finish strong tough conditions tough course and yet you still had a great outcome yeah absolutely I have to give like 100% credit to first endurance for that they are really the best nutrition company out there and since I've started working with them every race I go into I know my nutrition is dialed I know that that of all the things that can go wrong is not going to be a problem and it's just brilliant because I just know all the products work and so I have that whole added confidence and yeah that's it's fantastic yeah what's next for you this season are you going to rest until Kona no, I'm, I'm going to have a, definitely a bit of a break now, visit with my brother and his family in Ottawa. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, then just, uh, I'm contemplating doing this the 70.3 Worlds, but I'm kind of right on the bubble points-wise just because I've only done a couple 70.3s because I've been focusing on Ironman training. So I might do Ironman Lake Stevens, which is mid-August, um, but other than that, it's focusing on training for Kona. I know you're humble and modest, but where do you place yourself in the women's field today? Um, I definitely feel like I'm a contender in the world championships. I feel like if I have a great day in Kona, I can be top five. I feel like top ten is like definite possibility, uh, and so that's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm shooting for. You're gonna give Chrissy a run. <laughs> well, Chrissy is uh, so strong across all three, and I'm getting stronger and stronger across all three. But uh, I'll be very happy the day I manage to run a 2:44 marathon. <laughs>